Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 9th, 2024. Well, yesterday we had an incredible rally up, but we did it on relatively light volume. And, well, I think the question is now, can we follow through? It, how about we take a look at what happened overnight and then we'll dig into these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. First off, if we take a look at Asian markets, Asian markets were up um, almost across the board last night with only Shanghai being just a little bit uh, lower. Hong Kong uh, had a pretty good day up 1.17%. Um, we had Australia markets up 95 points at 1.25%, and then um, South Korea up 1.24% with a Nikkei up only just a little over half a percent. If we take a look at European markets this morning, European markets are showing bullishness across the board, uh, DAX being up, FTSE being up, and CAC being up, but all of them into a uh, modest half a percent rise or less, trying to rebound a little bit um, after yesterday's big surge in the afternoon for U.S. markets. Now let's take a look at U.S. futures at the moment. Right now we have uh, Believe it or not, Dow futures are just a tiny bit lower, and we're pretty flat. S&P 500 futures um, are green, but pretty flat, and NASDAQ futures also up. And they are doing the best, up about 0.26% here at the moment. If we took take a look at uh, bonds this morning, our bond yields are... Um, well, kind of interesting. We we continue to see the two-year bond holding in there pretty strong at 4.03% at the moment. The 10-year bond has pulled back just slightly, so 3.96% on the 10s, and the 30-year bonds at 4.24%. They have rallied back up pretty nicely. Um, with this uncertainty about what the Fed may or may not do, and of course this... Uh, um, Japanese yen uh, carry trade issue that continues to unravel. Quite a little um, back and forth going on in um, those numbers. If we take a look at oil this morning, now oil is trying to hold up. We've got oil up 0.21 per, or excuse me, 0.21%, or not 21%. Um, I'm tongue tied this morning. Um, up 23 cents. There we go at uh, 76.42 a barrel. Brent is up 17 cents at 79.33 a barrel. And we've got natural gas also trying to extend yesterday's run to the upside up a little over three cents this morning. Taking a look at gold, gold um, has been, well, a really nice comeback yesterday. Uh, gold pushing up sharply in this morning. It's trying to move a little bit higher as well. Right now showing up $6.80 an ounce in the futures. Um, silver is just ever so slightly lower this morning after a good bump up yesterday. Copper is a tiny bit higher, but I got to tell you, it's really not helping out. Um, these uh, copper stocks all that much. You can see Freeport here trying to make a move up but still obviously in a downtrend and then if we look at platinum platinum's a little bit lower palladium is trying to stretch back higher and trying to break out of its downtrend here so keep an eye on that if it stretches up and holds that higher low then there might be an opportunity in palladium Let's take a look at cryptos this morning. Now, cryptos had a really big up day yesterday in Bitcoin, and they're trying to stretch that on higher here this morning. If we take a look at um, like BITO, BITO, big upside day there, and we're trying to move up this morning up $850 a coin. 
in Bitcoin. Um, a little bit of mix, but mostly um, bullish there on cryptos. So keep an eye on those. Now, as we continue to push up, watch these resistance levels in the chart. These are some fairly significant resistance levels. And you'll want to note that overall, if you pull this back and kind of look across here overall, still in a downtrend there on Bitcoin. So it's got some work to do to try and uh, turn into more of a bullish chart. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks. That, uh, excuse me. Let's take a look at the indexes here. But um, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. And, uh, well, remember, we want to shake off that bias. We want to look at the charts for what they are and not for what we want them to be. If you um, kind of assess the entire market day, we have a very light day um, this morning. And we'll talk about that in just a, a moment with virtually nothing for the market to really be inspired on. So we'll be probably subject to um, uh, the news cycle here for any kind of inspiration at all. So yesterday we had this good push to the upside here in the diamonds. And as you can see, uh, pushing up here into some resistance levels in the chart. So if we can continue to see that bullishness, first I would suggest maybe a push up into test the lower side of that black candle. And if we can push beyond that, this is where we're going to run in to that bigger area price resistance. And I would say somewhere between here and here could be a, a bit more of a challenge. We're going to need some kind of inspiration to push us up through there. You want to keep in mind that yesterday we did break that 50 day moving average at the close, just squeezed up through that 50 day. But remember, anytime we push up into a 50 day moving average from underneath, we run that risk that we could consolidate or even pull back. So watch that carefully here today in the diamonds. If the bears were to find that inspiration, well, first off, I'm going to suggest this area of price support here in the chart. And if we fail beyond that, maybe coming down in here to test this little upside trend and this price resistance in the chart beyond that, it gets pretty ugly. Um, we would probably t uh, be testing yesterday's low. And then, of course, you can see beyond that point, we would be taking some um, heavy ride to the downside. I'm not saying that's going to happen today, but we'll want to keep an eye on it. We also want to keep an eye on the possibility that at any point in time, we could be creating that lower high here in the market and um, picking up a potential downtrend. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY already in that downtrend where we made the lower low and then a lower high followed by a lower low. So now as we rally back up, we're dealing with all of these price resistance levels as we come back up. And yesterday we came up in here and tested this level. We're going to see if we can breach that here today to pop through. If we can, you'll notice this next level to the upside that we might test in here. And then beyond that, we're coming into a pretty heavy level of price resistance. And of course, this overall downtrend right now that we could come back up here and test. Now, keeping in mind, if we were to rally all the way back up there, well, we're going to smack right into that 50 day moving average that's starting to roll over here a little bit. And our short term moving average is crossing down, creating a little bit of a moving average squeeze if we can get back up there. And if the bears were to find inspiration today, well, you can see in here that we would probably push back. We might test the top side of that candle right there just a little bit first and then coming down to really test this area of price support in the chart and possibly even the low of yesterday's candle. Breaking down below there, well, that's where a little bit of pain will come back into the market and we'll catch this area of price support and then maybe even 
come all the way back down to the lows. Now I know no one wants to hear that, but remember it's a pretty common pattern in the market where we will make either a higher low or we'll make a double bottom uh, test. So that would not be a surprise if we did something like that or if we pulled back and made a little bit of a higher low completing that W formation here in the market. You can see it's fairly common. One of the times right here, and we show those patterns um, in lots of places in the market. So watch that carefully. Um, it's rare that we would break down like this and then zoom straight back up. If we take a look at our QQQ, very much the same thing here. If those bulls continue to find inspiration here, breaking through this level of resistance in the chart. Well, you can see it. We come right across it up here and maybe test that area of the chart. And then we're going to be dealing with this downtrending area where we made lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and that possibility we could continue that process if we were to make a lower high up in here and then start pushing back down to retest some of these areas of the chart. If those bears were to find that inspiration, you can see that possibility coming back down into here, testing yesterday's low. Then we'd start sinking right on back down to either make a higher low or even a double bottom um, where, where we would really feel a lot of pain as if we were to break that low. Um, so watch that closely and remember here, we're still a long ways away from our 50 day moving average and you'll notice it's starting to roll over short term moving averages coming in, uh, down. And so by the time we get up here, we're going to run into those short term moving averages as some resistance in the chart. So watch that closely. We're really going to need some kind of powerful inspiration to move us through. Now, if we were to take a look at our IWM, IWM, well, it didn't do quite as well yesterday, uh, putting in an inside day and pushing back up into this area of price resistance is a really big level. Notice a lot of price resistance in the chart goes back there to 2021 and 2022. So um, if the bulls can find that inspiration, we need to push up into there, test that, and then see if we can pop through and prove we're going to have to prove to hold it as a support level. If we can push through, well, we can start, there's a little gap in here that we might be able to fill. And then we'll start pushing up here to fill these additional gaps and then running into this bigger consolidating resistance above. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, it wouldn't be hard to see that possibility. Pushing back down here to test this upside trend testing the support area here in the chart and then we would start moving down to maybe test some of these areas in the chart you can see a good support level would be down in here and that could make us that um, higher low here in the chart but if we were to fail there coming on back down to the lows and then of course if, where it gets really ugly is if we fall down through that area now taking a look in our moving averages, we came really close to testing that 50 day moving average. And we're trying to get a little test of that here uh, today. Remember that 50 day moving average can provide that resistance. And it's, it's the logical place where you often see that turn back lower. So watch carefully for that possibility. If we take a look at our VIX here this morning, well, our VIX did have a nice pullback. But looking at that chart, you've got to admit, it's just not, it's just not enough to really um, ease the fears here in the market. Um, pulling back into this price support area, and you can see that's a pretty strong price support area. We're way above still this uh, downtrend break here in the VIX. So we still have significant fear here and we have to be prepared for uh, more volatility in the market. If this were to pull back and hold in this area and fear come back into the market, well, hold on for uh, a wild ride. It could get 
kind of painful. However, if those bulls can find that inspiration, continue to rest this back, what we really need to see is a break of that trend and pushing us back down into these levels. I'm not sure we're going to get that today with such light data um, heading into Friday, but we could just rest in here for a while and then still have that opportunity to break on down. So watch of the VIX pretty closely. If we look at our T20s, our T2122 indicator, we had a nice little rally back up yesterday, but you got to admit that with the big moves that we had in the market, you would have expected maybe a little bit more in that push to the upside. So what we truly have going on here is, is, is not a... Uh, a zooming move back to the high is what we've got is a relief rally and nothing more than a relief rally at this point. Now, if the bulls can continue to find inspiration, well, we certainly have plenty of upside for them. If we can find that inspiration, maybe a little bit difficult today. We'll talk about that here in just a second. And if the bears were to find inspiration here today, well, we certainly have plenty of downside opportunity now. Um, that could also be exercised if those bears were to get going. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, you got to give this to the bulls yesterday. They did move this back higher. Nice push up. Unfortunately, it's not enough to really give you that big, who man, big relief to the upside. It was just a relief and nothing more than that. And pushing up into some resistance levels in the chart. 41.5% of the stocks above their 40-day is certainly an improvement, but not so much as to make us really breathe a sigh of relief that, hey, the bulls are back in control here as we continue uh, to deal with resistance levels above and still below that 50% area here in the chart. If we take a look at T2107, well, our T2107 did a better job yesterday pushing up and getting just through that 50% area, about 50 and a half percent of the stocks above their 200 day moving average. But you'll notice we're coming into fairly significant areas of price resistance. So not really that zooming move, but a nice relief in the market from the selling. And then if we take a look at our T2101, well, T2101 showing us that little bit of hook over Remember, we did this big rally yesterday on relatively light volume. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on here. If we can follow through today, we need to see that follow through with a little bit of breadth, a little bit of push to the upside to give us that inspiration. Um, if we were to see that bullish breadth uh, starting to fade back as that hook right there might show us, um, that could be a little bit problematic here um, on the day. Um, it may embolden the bears if that breadth does not really give us a push here today. And unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to go on today to really give us that big inspiration here in the market. If we take a look at our economic calendar, we have one thing on the calendar here today, and that's going to be the Baker Hughes rig count, which... Uh, hardly anybody pay, pays attention to anyway. So not much there on the calendar. And we have the concern for next week because next week, I believe it's on Tuesday, we've got um, inflation numbers, PPI numbers, CPI numbers on Wednesday. We've got core um, retail sales numbers coming up next week. So you can see there could be a little bit of that uncertainty looking into next week and maybe... Uh, maybe we just do a lot of um, nothing here today, chopping around. On our earnings calendar today, we certainly have some earnings this morning. Um, the notables, however, not really the kind of notables that are going to move us a bunch. Um, this is the list of notables. Take a screenshot of that, folks, um, if you want to grab that. Um, there are no notables after the bell today, so a very light day here on um, earnings numbers. And again, um, we might be struggling with some kind of inspiration. 
So after yesterday's really big day to the upside, you could see the real possibility of a rest or a consolidating choppy day today um, as we wait for those inflation numbers next week. So be kind of careful here today. Um, try not to chase um, things that are um, already stretched to the upside. So how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, then uh, clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a brief comment helps out about as much as anything does in YouTube these days. So thank you so much to everyone who does do that. The channel continues to grow. It has slowed down, obviously, quite a bit, but I think that's normal. We've reached a level here that, you know, just may take a while for us to punch on through. So thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I do truly appreciate it. We're, uh, I am um, more than um, surprised. Um, um, at the number of subscribers uh, for this kind of content, which, you know, isn't filled with hype and isn't filled with all kinds of prediction. So thank you, everyone. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence here in the market. And remember, I'm just another trader out there um, doing my job in trading. Um, although I have a lot of experience, um, there's nothing about what I do that's all that special. And make sure that you are following your rules and your guidelines in your trading and uh, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. So first off, let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And, and, then, and guys, I'm going to have to keep going back to uh, that same theme of defensive type of trades in the market. If we take a look at stocks like Coke, continuing to show lots of potential bullishness and that move here we, you can see we're at all-time highs in coke and every reason to believe in this bullish trend that we could continue to move on to the upside i'm going to say the same when we take a look at pepsi now pepsi is not anywhere near all-time highs this pullback in here you can see buyers stepped up at support and trend i would look for the potential of that follow through here to see if that can move on higher keep an eye on that um, if we take a look at stocks like Hershey Chocolate, Hershey looking very strong, moving up a little bit on the choppy side, but continuing to move on up here. Um, if we take a look at Schmuckers, well, Schmuckers um, slipped just a little bit here on Friday, maybe losing that trend. We'll have to wait and see if that can pop back up, but it is worth keeping an eye on yet. Um, if we take a look at um, stocks like um Mondelez, or I can't type, uh, Mondelez trying to push back up here, looking pretty good in that chart. Now remember, trying to slip out from underneath this big downtrend in here. If it can hold in that area, that's what we look for in these charts for that resumption of an upside trend. So keep an eye on a lot of those um, old boring companies, defensive areas um, in the market. Um, stocks like um, Altria here showing lots of bullishness, potentially being um, resisted by, not potentially, but it's being resisted by this big area up here in price action on Altria. But just imagine what happens if that pops through. Keep an eye on Altria. Philip Morris, very strong here, continuing to move to the upside. Um, not a thing wrong with that. So watch that close. If we were to take a look um, beyond that, let's take a look at our financials. Um, XLF is starting to give me a little bit of worry that we could create a lower high here. We're running into a fairly substantial area of price resistance here in the chart. As we really rebounded and pushed back up, we'll wanna watch this area right in here and make sure 
that we need to be able to push through or we need to be able to consolidate this without really turning back lower here in those financials. So if we take a look at our moving averages, we did get above that 50 day moving average. So that could be a bit of the saving grace here. If we were to just pull back and hold that 50, then we're in great shape. If this were to reverse back down, and I think there's reason to believe that that could be possible with what we're seeing um, in some of these um, currency moves in the market and just the overall stress of the market as the consumer slows down. So watch that carefully here on XLF. And we can certainly see some bearish action possible here in some of these big banks with BAC trying to rally back off of its 200 day, but well below its 50 day moving average and those short term moving averages pulling down through there. Um, WFC um, showing a possible failure here at its 200 day. You can see rallying up, showing that little bit of pressure here and possible failure there. So I think there is reason to believe that we could run into some pressures here in those financials. Keep an eye on that. And then if we look at um, our regionals, well, regionals have held up pretty well, pulling back, um, still holding above that 50 day moving average, but notice we're kind of struggling to rally back up. And if you use, you know, the, um, the trap trade that I use, well, we've got a situation where this has fallen and we're rallying, we're running out of momentum and that possibility that that could start trailing on lower as well. So keep an eye on that. One area that is doing quite well is the um, utility sector. If we take a look at XLU, XLU continuing to hold up in that defensive type um, area of the market. Nice little bullish pattern. And you can see it in individual stocks like uh, Southern Company looking pretty good there. NEE also setting up for that next upside move in here. So keep an eye on some of those utilities. Good dividend payers, good place to run to when we're uncertain in the market. And that seems to be a little bit of the case here. Um, as well. Um, also, take a look at um, some of the issues that we have in our big tech giants. Um, Google, although Google trying to stretch and rally back up, I think we do run that possibility of another lower high in here, although it may not be quite ready for that yet. We could still rally up into here um, in that chart, maybe even coming up a little bit higher to test that resistance but watch that carefully in here for that possibility of a rollover. And if we look at those moving averages, you can see here, there's a really good chance that that 200 day moving average could be tested, I think here in the near future, pushing us down and notice that 50 day starting to roll over. Um, short term moving averages rolling over through there. Stocks like um, AMD also showing us uh, some pretty bearish um, possibilities here in that chart. Any rally back in AMD would give me um, a reason to potentially short as we've got that 50 day um, just about ready to cross back down through the 200 day, which is what we call the death cross. And um, notice that accumulation of moving averages up here showing uh, significant resistance. So keep an eye on that. Now, stocks like Apple, Apple uh, continuing to trying to test that 50 day moving average. We do run that failure uh, potential, that failure here around the 50 day. Notice we do have a downtrend that we're dealing with here in the chart. So keep an eye on that, even though Apple is maybe one of the better uh, of the breed right now, still a lot of tech problems here in the market. Um, if we take a look at SMCI, Clearly this sell off in SNCI was really harsh. And although we did bounce yesterday, I would look for this to relieve back up a bit more, but keep an eye on that. If this relieves back up or moves out here sideways, there may be some more downside coming in some of these tech stocks. So watch that pretty carefully. And we do have to remember we are in August, August that tends to be one of the toughest months for the market. Um, and so, yeah, watch that closely here as we continue to see this bearishness um, really starting to pick up um, here in the market. Any any 
um, a big major sell-off could really raise some fear and we could see some damage. So be careful in chasing. Be careful in assuming we're just going to zoom all the way back up and treat this rally for what it is. And that's just a relief back to the upside. And we could continue to try and press that up. I'm not saying that now's the time that we have to fail. We can continue to press that to the upside and maybe even find enough inspiration next week with that CPI and PPI number that we um, um, get past some of that concerning area here in these patterns. But until then, be a little bit careful. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you um, a wonderful weekend. Hope uh, you and your family have a great time off. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone.